Hey everyone and welcome to another Tech EKHD video. Uh, today I'm going to be giving you guys a list of my top 5 favorite puzzle games for the iPad. Uh, now a lot of these are also compatible uh, with the iPhone and iPod Touch so make sure to go and check them out and find out which ones uh, are in fact uh, universal applications and which ones uh, are only compatible with the iPad. Now I did shoot this video outdoors and it was like a billion degrees outside so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, so without too much of further ado, uh, let's get straight on into the video. Uh, now the first application that I'm going to be showing you guys uh, is a, a game that I've been playing very recently uh, and I have quite enjoyed playing um, in the last couple of days uh, ever since I discovered it and started playing it almost every single day on my iPad. Um, uh, now the game is called Bird Zapper uh, and it's really nice because of the introduction it starts out with like a little chipmunk or something uh, inside a tree listening to an iPod uh, and then these bunch of birds sitting on the power lines uh, end up shutting down his iPod somehow uh, and so this is uh, him trying to get back to them by zapping them all with a car battery. I, I know it does sound pretty vulgar in fact uh, it isn't it's uh, actually a very nice and fun game. Now, it does have these uh, menus again based off this little crazy chipmunk who's trying to kill all the birds. Uh, but essentially what this game is, is um, trying to uh, link a number of similar items together, uh, which is similar to a lot of the games on the App Store recently, uh, and a lot of the games uh, that I'm going to be showing you guys today. So let's start off. As you guys can see, uh, you have these different colored birds and different types of birds that you have to try to zap together to create combinations. Uh, now this is, uh, at the moment it's on slow, but it progressively keeps getting faster and faster. And there are also special edition birds. and and uh, as you guys can see at the bottom of the screen, there is also a power limit that you guys have uh, to burn up as many of these birds as possible in the given time period. Uh, as you guys can see at the top left of the screen, I do have, what, 20 seconds or something. Um, it's basically counting uh, out how long you take and the quicker you manage to get as many of these birds uh, zapped before your power runs out, uh, the better. Uh, and that's basically the aim of this game. Uh, so moving on to the next application on this list, uh, and that is called um, Unblock Me. Now this is a game I used to play very often on my iPod Touch, but I recently re-downloaded it onto my iPad. Uh, so basically what the aim of this game is to get the red uh, block out of this uh, little puzzle area. Uh, and while it may seem simple enough, uh, or the task may seem simple enough, uh, it actually is pretty complex. As you guys can see, I was having trouble even with the first level here, uh, but uh, even though this level may be fairly easy for for uh, the majority of you or the minority of you, I'm not really sure, uh, but uh, they progressively to, uh, do keep getting more and more difficult. Uh, now this is the free version of this application, there is a paid version uh, which is slightly different uh, but not too much uh, to the fact that you guys would have to go and buy the entire game. I would actually recommend this free version, it's basically enough and it gets the job done and it's very entertaining. It's a great application to kill some time with if you have some time on your hands and you're pretty bored and only have your iPad on hand. Uh, now the next application I'm going to be showing you guys is called Tetra, uh, Tetris, uh, wow. Tetris Blitz. Uh, I'm sorry I had trouble saying that. It's a bit of a tongue twister saying it really. Uh, but Tetris Blitz uh, is a game. Uh, with, it is basically Tetris. It's based off the same people that made Tetris except it's a super fast version of it. You have a two minute time period and you're supposed to uh, touch the area uh, where uh, your blocks are going to fit in to try to get rid of all the blocks as soon as possible uh, in uh, the given time frame. Now it's super super fast. It's very uh, challenging and again it does get progressively more challenging as the levels continue. Uh, and keep uh, incrementing. Now, uh, this is a behind the tripod shot that I thought would be interesting to show you guys, but overall this application is one that I generally uh, enjoy playing from time to time. Uh, it's not on the top of my list, but it is a fun application. What should be on the top of my list really is Trainyard Express. Uh, now, this is a free version. I believe there used to be a paid version back in the day which I actually paid for. It was one of the first applications I ever bought really. Um, and I genuinely love this game. It's a very fun puzzle game and it's basically like one of those connect the dot type games uh, But you're supposed to build these train tracks for an engine to go by uh, Now as you guys can see these first couple of levels are extremely easy and you can change the speed of the trains to get rid of the uh, Level as soon as possible, but as you guys can see here um, The levels again much like all the other games do get progressively harder. That is basically the theme uh, of how puzzle games work uh, Now as you guys can see my train on the left crashed there because I didn't really build a track, uh, but it is uh, uh, this one um, 
I was kind of messing around with just for the purpose of this video, uh, but it is fairly easy uh, to play, but it does get a lot more challenging and harder as the levels go by. I genuinely really do enjoy this game and recommend anyone uh, to get it uh, since it is free at the moment. I'm not sure if it's going to go back to paid or not, but I would really, really recommend it. Now, the last and final application on this list is a game that I actually reviewed a couple days ago called Candy Crush Saga. It was almost impossible for me not to mention this because I know a lot of people would actually like to know about this game since it has been increasingly popular on the Apple App Store very recently. Now it does include a bunch of social uh, connections to be able to share your gameplay with other people, uh, but otherwise it is a very fun game, very similar to uh, a game called Bejeweled. I actually did mention that in my review as well where the main aim of the game uh, is to connect uh, multiple types of one type of candy, or if that made sense, uh, connect multiple different kinds uh, of a similar candy together to form sequences, uh, and then blow up the, the rows of candy to be able to progress further into the level. Now I hope I explained that in enough detail and you guys understood that. Uh, anyway guys, that about does conclude this video. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it. I genuinely did put a lot of work into this video and would really appreciate a thumbs up or a like uh, down uh, right underneath this video if you guys did enjoy it. Anyway, for more videos like these, as well as other unboxings, reviews, tutorials, and much, much more, please do remember to subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.